guys, I am Bharat Joshi and I am here to teach you how to do a simulation of a cantilever beam in SOLIDWORKS using FEA. So you have to create the part first. So here you go. Okay. The dimension of proven trigger. This will be my fixed region. Here I am so you have to merge this body with this. Then go to the simulation part, create new study. For now, it should be on a static. Then apply material. So you have to apply the material like I am taking 4130 steel. Apply. So here you can see the material is applied already. Then I will fix, I uh, will uh, use the fixture, the fixed geometry, this part. Okay. Then I will go to the external loads and giving the force to particular phase and giving the direction. Like select direction direction will be at this edge so in the downward I will give you 2000 newton force ok then if you run this study the mesh will be generated automatically but if you want to create a mesh manually then go to the create mesh and you can select the coarse mesh or fine mesh or you can change the pa mesh parameter like how much size your element will have the aspect ratio with the growth rate okay we will discuss that later in future videos with an advanced meshing techniques so i will keep it a course for less time less simulation time okay my here you can see my mesh is already generated then i will run the study okay so here you can see the plot showing the results in the legend it is showing the stress float uh, so this will uh, this is my yield strength material yield strength and this is my stress value of it here you can uh, double click on the stress plot and you can change the value of true scale uh, true scale okay then you can go to check the displacement as well how much displacement it is taking by giving the force of 2000 newton on the part then this is a, a strain di diagram go to the stress of then in the chart option you can set the upper will upper maximum value and minimum value as well so here you uncheck this and here input the yield strength value so that you can actually uh, see the uh, stress value the actual one okay so here I am closing it so the values are showing in scientific value you can check the floating values and gender here you can see the placement as well where you have to place your legend okay these are the some advanced options you can check it check it out So that's how you do a basic FPS simulation in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.